Let's now move on to reapportionment of service cost. We'll start with no interdepartmental service. So here we are looking at where there is only one service department involved serving the other production unit, or where there are two service departments in place but they do not share or serve each other, or one department provides service to the other but does not receive from it. Okay. The department or call centers absorbing an overhead can be a production based or service oriented. Their operations may be independent of each other or render service among themselves. So if they do not serve each other, we will first apportion the overheads to the respective department, both production and the service. Then the apportioned service cost will be reapportioned onto the department that they serve. So if you have a canteen department that serves the sewing and the finishing department, you reapportion their overheads onto the department. If there's another service department, let's say maintenance, and the canteen department serves them, you also reapportion onto those three. After that, the reapportion cost, the earlier one plus the reapportionment will now be absorbed onto the production unit to arrive at a cost per unit. Let's now test our understanding. So factory overhead costs for the period as stated below. We have factory rent, factory electricity, sewing department manager, finishing department manager, depreciation of equipment, factory canteen expenses, pension cost of factory employees. The total factory overhead cost is $100,000. So we come to basis of absorption. We have three departments for sewing, finishing, and canteen. For cubic space, the sewing department occupies 50,000 meters of space. The finishing occupies 40,000. Canteen occupies 10,000. When we come to the net book value of machinery, that of the sewing department has $500,000. Finishing $300,000. And canteen $200,000. Number of employees for sewing department is 100. 70 for finishing and 30 for canteen. So we are now to allocate and apportion the factory overhead cost among the three departments using a suitable criteria. So we are also to reapportion the canteen cost to the production cost centers. So these are the basis of absorption. And we pick any overhead. We determine which will be most appropriate in apportioning. Then we move ahead to do so onto the department. So when we come to the solution, we list the three departments here and pick the overheads one after the other. We'll start with the factory rent. For the factory rent, we are going to use the space that is the most appropriate. So if you look at the three, it's 50 for sewing, 40 for finishing, and 10 for canteen. The sum will give 100. The cost of the factory rent is $30,000. It means that sewing will be 50 over the 100 times the 30,000, giving 15,000. Finishing will be 40 over 100 times the 30,000 giving 12,000. Canteen will be 10 over 100 times the 30,000, giving 3,000. When we move on to the factory electricity, we are also going to do the apportionment based on the factory space. I mean, among the three suitable criteria, that is what is most appropriate. Maybe if they have given the, the number of electrical gadgets that they had, that could be more appropriate. So it is going to be the same, 50 over 100 times the 10,000. That is the cost of the electricity overhead which is 5,000 for sewing, 40 over 100 times the 10,000, 4,000 for finishing, then 10 over 100 times the 10,000, 1,000 for canteen. When we come to the sewing department's manager's salary, that has already been stated. So we attribute it to the department that brought about the figure, that is the sewing department, 15,000, none for finishing and canteen because it didn't save them. We come to finishing department manager's salary, that will also go straight entirely to the finishing department, now for sewing and canteen. When we come to the depreciation of equipment, we will be using the net book value. That will be the most appropriate suitable criteria. The cost was $8,000. Now, one to looking at the basis of absorption, it was $500 for sewing, $400 for finishing, and $100 for canteen. So, for sewing, it will be $4,000. That was $500 over $1,000 times the 8,000. For finishing will be 2,400. That will be 400 over the 1,000 times the 8,000. 
canteen will be thousand six hundred dollars. That is one hundred over the thousand times the eight thousand. We have factory canteen expenses. So as the name connotes, it is canteen expenses. So it will only be attributed to the canteen department, now for sewing and finishing. Then we come to pension cost of factory employee. So the best basis of absorption will be the number of employees for each department. Sewing had 100, finishing had 70, canteen had 30. The sum will give 200 as the denominator. So when we pick sewing, it's going to be the 100 divided by 200 times the 12,000, giving a figure of $6,000. For finishing, it will be 70 over 200 times the 12,000, providing 4,200. Then canteen will be 30 over 200 times 12,000, also leading to $1,800. So the total cost apportioned to each of the departments will be $45,000 for sewing, $32,600 for finishing, and $22,400 for canteen. We will now move on to reapportioning the canteen cost of $22,400 to the other two production departments because we deem that the canteen department serves those two. If it's established that they exist to sell to outsiders, that will not be reapportioned. For the reapportionment, the canteen most suitable criteria for absorption will be the number of staff. So we first bring the total as established in the the preceding slide for each of the two departments 45,000 for sewing and finishing of 32,600. So, when we want to apportion a canteen using the number of employees, it was 100 for sewing and 70 for finishing. So, the sum will be 170. So, it will be 100 over the 170 times the apportioned cost of the canteen $22,400. So, it's going to be 13,176 for the sewing. So, 70 divided by 170. Multiplying the 22,400 will lead to a figure of 9,224 for the finishing. So the absolute total apportioned cost for the department producing will be 58,176 for the sewing, 41,824 for the finishing. If we know the total production unit or the hours for these two departments, we will now absorb them onto the product. We move on to the second aspect where there is an interdepartmental service rendering between the two service departments. So when this happens, we would first apportion the overheads to the various departments, both the production and the service. Then secondly, the apportioned overhead cost for the service department will now have to be reapportioned onto those departments that they save, both production and the service department. So after that has been done, will have to be reapportioning the service department cost onto all the department they save till it runs out. Once that is done, the apportioned cost will have to be absorbed to the production department product. Now, we spoke of reapportioning the service department cost onto the other department they save till it runs out. There are two methods of doing so. The first one is the tabular method and the second is the algebraic method. Let's take a look at them one after the other. We will do that with a test of understanding. So production department, we have S and F. S for sewing, the F for finishing. Then we have two service departments, stores and canteen. So overheads for production department is $100,000 for the sewing, $50,000 for the finishing. Stores is $20,000, canteen $15,000. So we assume that it has already been apportioned to the, each of the departments. These are what they influence the business in incurring. So estimated work done by the service department for other departments as follows. So the store's overhead cost was influenced by the sewing department by 50%. 30% of it came from the finishing department and 20% came from the canteen department. When we come to the canteen, 45% of it was influenced by the sewing department, that is S. 40% by the finishing department and 15% by the store's department. So we have to reapportion the service department cost to the other department using the repeated distribution method and the algebraic method. For the repeated distribution method or the tabular method, we will keep reapportioning the service department overhead cost onto the other department till they all hit zero. 
So we start by listing the apportioned overhead cost: hundred thousand for S, fifty thousand for F, stores of twenty thousand, and canteen for fifteen thousand. We will start by reapportioning the stores department. It was fifty percent for S. That will be fifty over hundred times the twenty thousand. Then it was thirty percent for the finishing. So thirty over hundred times the twenty thousand. Now we are we are portioning them. By the time we finish we are portioning, the store department is supposed to be zero. Then it was 20% for the canteen department. So 20 over 100 times the 20,000, giving 4,000. Now when we find the total, because we keep apportioning the service department, we hold on to the summation of the production department. So it will be zero for the stores. The total overhead cost now for the canteen will be 19,000. So now we have to come to reapportion the canteen department onto the other department and if you look at the question it will be 45 over 100 times the 19,000 then 40 percent of it was employed by the finishing so it's 40 over 100 times the 19,000 the other 15 percent was influenced by the stores department so it's 15 over 100 times the 19,000 so you realize that the total overhead cost of the stores department is 2850 that of the canteen department is now zero because the stores department still has some figure, we have to reapportion that figure again. So it was 50, 30, and 20. So apportioning the stores, 50% of it will be 1,425. 30% of the 2,850 will be 885. After it has been absorbed, it will be zero. Then we come to the 20% of the stores department, that will be 570. Now, if you sum the figures for the two service departments, stores will be zero, but canteen still has some figure. So we now have to come and reapportion the canteen figure. That was 45, 40, and 15. So 45% of 570 is 257. 40% of 570 is 228. And the 15% of the 570 will be 86. The storage department still has some figure. We have to reapportion it. So 50, 30, 20%. So that for the sewing department is 50 on 86, 43. 30 on 86 dollars that is 26 dollars the stores will be zero because it will be all apportioned out then the 20 percent of the 86 will now be 17 canteen department has 17 overhead cost we now have to reapportion it so it will be eight dollars for the sewing department which is 45 percent the 40 percent of the 17 will provide seven dollars the 15 percent will provide two dollars canteen department will be zero but stores still has some figure. Reapportioning is needed. So it will be 50% of the $2 will be $1. 30% of the $2 will be approximately $1. It will be zero for the store department. There will be no figure left to be apportioned to the store department. Even if you apportion 20% of two, approximately is zero. We've been able to render all the service departments zero. So when we sum the overhead for the production department it is one twenty thousand two hundred and eighty four dollars for the sewing finishing is sixty four thousand seven hundred and fifty four okay on the other hand if you want to use the algebraic method we will have to go through a mathematical expression so first we will let s represent stores then c represent canteen that is the service department then from the expression when we come to the stores department their total overhead cost is supposed to be $20,000. That is what is apportioned to them. Plus 15% of the canteen's overhead cost. Because they receive 50% of their service from the question. When we come to the canteen department, their total overhead cost is supposed to be their apportioned cost of $15,000. Plus 20% of the overhead cost of the store's department. Because that is the level of activity or service they received from them. So from this mathematical equation... When we replace the canteen figure, that is the C, in the equation of S, we will get S being the 20,000 plus 0 0.15, which is the 15%. And now C will be replaced by the expression over here. So it will be the 15,000 plus 0 0.20 of S. When we expand it, we are going to get S of 20,000 plus 0 0.15 multiply by 15,000 will give 2,250 plus 0 0.15 multiplying 0 0.2 S will give 0 0.03 S. Moving on, when we group 
like figures. The S on the right hand side will move. Once it moves across the equal sign, it will be a negative. So S minus 0 0.03. Then we sum the figures up. They are also like the ones on one side. 20,000 plus 2,250 leading to 22,250. When we find the difference between the left side, it's going to be 0 0.97s. Now, there's nothing in front of the s in mass. When there is one in front of an alphabet, we don't write it. So, if you see an alphabet standing on its own, there is one in front of it. If it isn't one, then the figure will be shown. So, when you see this one, it's 0.97s being equal to 22,250. We are also trying to find s. So, we divide 0 0.97 on both sides to allow the s to stand on its own. It will lead to S being 22,938. The canteen expression was 15,000 plus 20% of S. Now we've seen S. So anywhere we see S, we replace it with a figure that we've worked out. So C will be 15,000 plus 0 0.2 multiplying S, which is 22,938. Moving on, C will be 15,000 plus 4,588, which is the product of the two figures. So C, which is the canteen cost, will now be 19,588. These are the figures to be reapportioned over the other department. So when we move to the reapportionment, we have the two production departments and the two service department. We will bring the reapportioned cost, 100,000, 50,000, 20,000, and 15,000. Now, when we come to the reapportionment for the stores, we will not be doing the 20,000. We'll be doing the one that we solved through the algebraic method. That is the 22,938. The sewing department influences by 50%. It will be 11,469. The finishing department influences by 30%. 6,801. So we are absorbing it's supposed to clear out. So we less it by the 22,938. Then the 20% for canteen will be 4,588. Now, we are supposed to reapportion the canteen cost from what we got from the algebraic method, the 19,588. The percentages were 45 for the sewing S, 40 for the finishing F, and 15 for the stores. So 45% of the 19,588 will give 8,815. 40% of that is supposed to be 7,835. Then the 15% of that will be 2938. Once we are portioning it out, we put the entire figure here. Now, when we sum, we realize that the service department will be zeroed out, and then we add that for the production department, giving 120,284 dollars for the sewing department and 64,716 for the finishing department. Same as we saw in the tabular method.